Thanks for the intro, Bobby, and miss you, brother. You should talk to your billboard guy to see if we can't get a couple ABC signs put down in Port Aransas so I could have a little reminder. And don't panic, while I have Harold here, I haven't been able to fully sell Harold on the retired life just yet. He still has the very important job of tallying and verifying the ethics and business award votes every year. Thanks, Earl. And for all of you watching from home, here's the brief synopsis of how our winners are chosen each year. All of today's nominees are submitted by the community at large. Then, 15 finalists are chosen by students at Concordia University through a dedicated class on business ethics. The finalists are interviewed by the students taking the class who present their findings to a panel of Leadership Austin alumni. The panel then votes on the candidates using a blind ballot. I tally the votes and we present them all today. And no, Earl, as good as you make retirement look, I'm not quite there yet. I do get excited though to see that our business community is in great hands with ethical leaders like those joining us today. Earl? And thank you for doing such a wonderful job all these years. Now I want to focus on one part of the process that Harold mentioned, the nominations. Throughout the ceremony today and through the rest of the year, we're accepting nominations for 2022 award candidates. If you work with or know someone who has been able to navigate tough decisions this year in a standout way, we want to know. So follow the instructions on your screen now to make a nomination and we'll continue to show instructions throughout today's event. Thank you all for being here and for participating in this wonderful program.